Hi guys, so I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be going through the patch that came out um, a few days ago. It came out four days ago. Um, but I'm going to be looking at sort of the speed running side of it and the campaign side of it. So uh, you're probably thinking, well, does this really matter? But I think it does because the, one of the patches, I can't remember which one, a few months ago, they actually broke where units could path through walls and that did affect sort of the speed run. So this run didn't get accepted because we knew it would have got patched obviously in the next patch but if I just show you quickly um, you could path through buildings so obvious um, through walls so that would obviously save a lot of time um, and even got the paladin through there and then I could just literally walk Barbarossa into was it the Dome of Rock so it does matter um, but let's look at the patch quickly um, so the only thing that we're going to talk about is going to be the stuff that's aimed towards campaigns and speed running really so the first thing I noticed was there was a little thing so we ignore this sort of stuff here do, 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 disconnect stability um, game stability so the workshop so it says siege workshop con constructed next to the walls can no longer spawn units on the opposite, opposite side of the wall so we actually use this in well we used to use it in the Joan of Arc number six but actually in the run that Tay does he actually doesn't use it which is strange because it does work or it, it did work before so I've loaded up the game and got to the point so if I literally I've obviously cheated to get to this point does it work it does still work so even though they're saying they fixed it it does still work. Not 100% of the time, but it does go through the wall. Let's just try again. If I can delete all these guys, just build another house. So if you put it in a direct angle, it still works. So I'm not too sure what they fixed. Does it only apply to multiplayer? I don't know. But so that does still work. Um, so if we head back to here so Tay actually didn't use it in his run but he could have because it does work um so there is still time you can save on this level I guess but I suppose it all depends on how you kill the three castles there is other levels where this is used is in Jihad which I could actually quickly find um this is kind of a bit on the fly I did have a plan that's no it's not used on Jihad that's a lie it's used on the siege of Jerusalem um let's see if it's used in this run I'm going to skip in. No, because he actually sneaks in the wall. Um, so, I don't know what they fixed. Don't know what they fixed. Maybe it's for a multiplayer only. Okay, let's move on. What else we got? Civilization balance. So, supplies. We never really build infantry units. We never get to that point. Um, maybe it's the, in the goth campaigns, but obviously goths are not losing it. So, none of these people we would ever build infantry for in the campaigns. Um, just scanning through. There is a Tatars campaign, which I don't think we even build in any infantry. The Huns, I don't think we ever go. We would never go for supplies. you got to think the run's already been made. We wouldn't invest another 200 through 200 gold, I think, to supplies. Um, none of these really matter. This one does matter a little bit. So that means that the whole of the Aztec campaign, if I just jump back out of this... So the whole of Montezuma, uh, America, now has decreased building units time. So that that's quite a big deal. So that will lose, I think it's two seconds on average per unit. So all these levels are now harder for us to sort of beat times on. So anyone who's got the current records in Montezuma probably, well, you probably won't keep them, but I don't know. It's hard to say if it will lose that much time, but I think in the shorter levels you definitely will lose a bit of time. So let's go back. So that's the Aztec bonus. Burmese, I can't even think, this won't save anything. We would never get this upgrade, I don't think. I'm not too sure if AIs would even go for masonry. Um, Indians, sadly the elephant, elephant archer is not still, not going to be viable. Um, the only level I can think of that might be a little bit helpful is Bukahara. You actually had you start with a hero, elephant archer, I believe. 
maybe that will help a little bit, but it's not going to save any time. Uh, no mains campaign. Saracens, we never will go for Zealotry because it's still too expensive. Um, cool, and there's one other little one I did notice, and it's down here. So we've got a lot of stuff in this general bit, but the one I want to look at is this one. So the, the Tower Rush. So this is sort of reverting it back to AOC and a Age of Kings. This is how the AI used to sort of deal with towers. Um, it used to just Hail Mary at the tower, which is good because our good friend Tay has already done a run. So if I just full screen this. So Jihad is now back to um, how it used to be in AOC, which is good because the the route we were using were, was a little bit different. We were using knights and a few archers to kill blue. Because he, all he relies on is less than two villagers, I believe. So if he has one villager, he will surrender, even if he has a town centre. So now, if I just skip in a little bit, he's obviously working on the monks going to orange as well. It's a great run, but I want to see... Do we see... So pretty much what happens is Blue will Hail Mary at the tower, which I can't actually find where, does he show? He probably looks back, here we go. This is what he does. So the villagers will go to this point and one can hit through the wall at a time and the rest of them get shot at. So he's slowly killing villagers. Obviously once he gets below so many villagers, he will start deleting his buildings and surrender. So that's pretty much the only stuff I've seen on the patch. Um, it's not a major patch, but I'm just going to sort of try try and do these sort of little updates to see if we can find any sort of changes or anything that will improve certain levels. Um, so let me know if it's any good. If not, I will see you when I speedrun the next level. Bye!